Are you looking for a quick, healthy recipe for dinner tonight? Hi, I'm Karen Youngman, County Extension Agent for Texas AgriLife Extension Service, and I hope you'll give this recipe a try. Today I'm going to show you how to make barbecue pepper steak. First, I've started with some lean beef. I used tenderized round steak, and I cut it into thin strips. And I've already started sauteing this meat in my electric skillet at about 375 degrees. To this, I'm going to add one clove of minced garlic, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and some light soy sauce. We're going to finish browning this meat in the seasonings. And while it's finishing cooking, we're going to go ahead and add three bell peppers. And you can use whatever color you'd like. I Per, um, I prefer to add different colors, so I'm using a yellow, an orange, and a green. And then you also need a small onion sliced. We're going to cook this until the peppers and the onions become tender. It'll take about three or four minutes. In order to reserve nutrients in your vegetables, you just want to cook them until they're fork tender. And you'll want to continue stirring so that the meat and the vegetables will cook evenly. This recipe is full of vitamins, vitamins A and C. It's a great source of lean protein. And it's also an excellent source of fiber. One serving of this recipe will count as about 300 calories. And it will cost less than $2 a serving. And you'll be able to get four servings from this recipe. Now that the vegetables and the meat have continued to cook, I'm going to add some barbecue sauce. If you're lucky enough to find the low sodium version, by all means get that version. Um, sometimes it is difficult to find a low sodium barbecue sauce, however. Then you're just going to stir this mixture until it's evenly coated with the barbecue sauce. You can see it makes quite a bit, so it's four hearty servings. And as you can see, I generally serve this on a bed of brown rice and also with some steamed vegetables. So the next time you're wondering what's for dinner tonight, I hope you'll look to Texas AgriLife Extension Service. And don't forget, check us out on our Facebook page.